Can you talk about what it was like to work with Danielle for the first time back on the originals? Well, yeah. The first time I worked with her was during the screen test for Landon. Um, she was so accommodating, so kind, and it was great to meet her and everything. And then so like when I got to actually work with her on the originals, it was easy because we had sort of a rapport. And I had no idea what I was doing, and she was very accommodating of that. And then on top of that, when we got to Legacies, it was just like, we've done this, you know, but at this point we're friends, so it was very nice. Was it intimidating to join such a big franchise? Yeah, yeah, it was. That was, uh, I mean, Judy knows all about this. I was reticent to create an Instagram account again because I was, I knew that the, no disrespect to them, but they are very dedicated. Um, and. It's a lot of responsibility taking on this thing that people love so much. Um, you know, it's like playing a superhero where, where everyone's going to have their opinion of you and they haven't even seen it yet, you know? So it's, it's, been, it's been kind of one of those things where I just had to distance myself from it because it's not helpful to me. But it's definitely <coughs> challenging. It's interesting. And is there any particular cast member you wish you could work with more? Peyton. Plays Raphael, my foster brother. I just, I really like him as a person, and I really like the way he works, and I, I just want more Landon and Raphael scenes, because I think their, their dynamic is really cool, you know, this brother thing. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about Landon's reaction the first time he sees Hope using powers? Um, yeah, uh, that was, so the first time he sees it is at the church, right, when she opens yeah. the doors with her mind, and that, that was kind of like, there was nothing going Landon's direction. <laughs> For that, you know, because he was just sitting outside and he didn't know what he was doing, and then Hope showed up. And then Alaric walks up behind her, who he doesn't know, with a crossbow <laughs> at a church. And then she blows the doors open with her mind, and then he sees his foster brother convulsing on the ground, you know. So it's like, like, I think there's no <laughs> way he could have possibly processed it, so it was just he was completely overwhelmed. There's no way that he can't understand any of that, he, doesn't, he didn't know it existed.